Buenos dias, deadheads. Oh, here's Lily. She wants to say hi, too. It's Margo, and I'm here in Mexico, and I just, I'm so excited because the family's coming to visit. Yay! Come down. I can't wait to see you all in Mexico. So I know most of you think of me as that bitch that gets to live in Mexico all the time, but um, I actually am an expert on chronic pain and stress. That's my real passion. I call my program my feel-good way. And um, because I've got so many family about to get on airplanes and, and come to Mexico, I thought I would make this little video for you guys to make your trip go a little bit better. So <clears throat> I had severe chronic pain and I figured out some things that would really help me. And some of them were structural. Posture is huge in my program, but also it's about lowering your stress. And travel can be stressful, you know, planes can be late, you know, just lots of things can happen when you're traveling. And so um, one of the most important things I found out in my own um, quest to end my chronic pain was even though I did a lot of the physical things that made me better, I still had the pain. It maybe was better, but it didn't go all the way away until I figured out that it was my stress that was really um, keeping it there. And so um, I, I was desperate. I needed something. So I started doing a lot of stress reduction techniques. But what I really found um, super important was is that they need to be things you can do quickly and easily while you're walking around in your life. So I'm going to show you Evo size number one. It's the, if, if anybody asks me about my program, it's the first thing I show them. So I want you to do this along with me. And you can do this anywhere, even in front of a ticket counter. <laughs> so just put your fingers on your temples and press deeply and start making circles there. And then it's not a meditative thing. Just move kind of quickly and move back towards your ears and then up over the back of your ears so that you're rubbing the part um, where your ear and your head hook together and work down wow. till your fingers kind of fall in the hole and then drag that down past your collarbone. Now just sit for a moment with your eyes closed and notice how you feel. And then when you're ready, go ahead and open your eyes and look around and tell me don't things seem a little bit different now? And it's super simple to do. So I always show it this very particular way the first time because um, that always works. But it can be this quickly. It can, it can be that easily. Just think of how you would do it with your favorite pet, right? Lily loves it when I do that to her, right? It's the dragging it down the collarbone that really makes it effective because it's, um, it's literally creating a, a different chemistry in your body from stress to not stress. And so it's literally adrenaline, or it's uh, endorphins, opiates, oxytocin, things like that. And the, and the chemistry is, um, is transported through your body and your lymphatic system. So that's why dragging it down the neck, it's like, taking it from the lymphatic system in a large dose and dumping it straight into the heart. The heart beats and sends it out to every cell in your body, healing it and making you feel calm and, um, and in present time. That's the most important part of it, is it takes you out of the stress of the past and the future and what maybe used to happen or what maybe might happen into present time where you can think more clearly. So, okay, so that's the first thing I wanted to show you. And the second thing is, um, it's about posture. And because I'm a massage therapist in paradise, uh, most of my clients have just traveled long distances to get me. And it's really common for me to get a phone call, usually from the spouse saying, oh my God, my partner, uh, she, we traveled yesterday and now she, today she's in so much pain she can't even get out of bed. Our vacation is ruined. 
And so there are a few things that I can teach you to prevent that. And also some things to do after you get to the Moon Palace that can help prevent anything from happening, okay? So now we're gonna move into my uh, massage room. I'll see you there. Okay, here we are. I have no complaints. Hi, Tokaya. Okay, so these are what I call posture rolls. And as you can see, they're just rolled up towels. And what I did was I took one uh, pretty thick beach towel and I cut it into two pieces along the waist and then rolled them up a little bit differently so that one is longer and one is, is um, fatter. Doesn't really matter, just play with it. And then I just use string to tie them up. And um, I also, two sarongs is about the right size. Um, I know people who use pool noodles, you can just cut them with a knife and um, you know, just anything. If I don't have something like a posture roll with me, sometimes I just put my hand behind my arm. Anyway, I'm gonna show you how to use them and then we'll talk more about things you can use if you don't have these with you. So um, you're gonna be doing a lot of sitting. And what I do when I travel is I tie two of these to the outside of my backpack with a scarf so that I can always get to them easily and use them whether I'm in the airport, in the car, in the taxi, in the bus, or wherever I am. I, I use these posture rolls. So um, how you do it is, so you're gonna sit down in your chair, whatever kind of chair it is, and you're gonna put your butt all the way back in the chair. And ideally, your feet are flat on the floor, hip width apart, with your ankles directly underneath your knees and your knees straight out from your hips. And then you're gonna take um, the fat one and you're gonna put it up, uh, right above your sacrum, that triangle shaped bone at the bottom. And you're gonna, and then you're just gonna sit up straight. And uh, with this in place, I'm not leaning on it, and I'm definitely not leaning over it. I'm just sitting up straight. And because it's there, my back kind of magically curls around the, the towel so that it has the proper S shape it's supposed to have. And then if you want to rest, you just put the second one lengthwise down your spine, and now you can lean back. Um, but your chest is open and your low back is in the proper shape. This is super, super important. Look what happens when I take these out. You know, that just looks like if you spend hours and hours and hours in this position, you're gonna end up with a sore back. <laughs> hey, Lou. So um, that is one of the ways to use the posture rolls while you're traveling, and I mean it, everywhere you go. Okay, so now the second thing I'm going to show you is what you're going to do once you get uh, to the Moon Palace and, and you're going to, uh, it's time to go to bed. Okay, are you ready? Can I see everything there? So this is called spinal molding and, and I'm not going to go into a big a uh, long explanation about the spine in this video because I want it to be uh, short enough that you'll actually watch it, but you know, I, I've got a better explanation on my website. So what you're gonna do is um, you're gonna lay down and you're gonna have your knees bent. So you can use a pillow here underneath your knees and then take one of the rolls and put it where your low back is and put the other one so that it makes, so it will go lengthwise down your spine. And then you're gonna take maybe even a third one or a small pillow and just support your neck, not your head, just your neck. And then you're gonna lay here like this for about 20 minutes. <coughs> 
and you can do it in your bed and just do it as you're going to sleep at night, but you don't want to sleep on them. And then after 20 minutes, you're just going to roll to one side and take them both out. And then ideally, you'll sleep on your back. And if you're not a back sleeper, what you're going to do is just take these rolled up towels and kind of snuggle them in next to you. And now it's like a baby bumper. You can't really roll over. So if in your sleep you try to roll over, it's just not going to work and you'll just continue to lay there. Um, so these are ideal things to do for posture. Now, if you... Um, are somebody who has neck issues, the other thing you're going to want to do while you do this is pile up some pillows next to you so that, um, and you're going to go into what I call the reclining maiden pose. And so that is with your, um, for, your, your back of your hand on your forehead and see how my arm is supported there? So I'm not using muscles to hold my arm here. Um, it's, it's just being supported. You could put a, a, a couple thick pillows here to support it. And then you're gonna lay here like this. What this does is it, is it relaxes all the muscles in your neck and shoulders. And, and then you lay here like this for only two minutes and then do the other side and do that side for two minutes and then you're done and you can do this um, at the same time that you're doing the spinal molding. So those three tricks should get you to pit in dancing shape. We're gonna rock this place man. I am so excited to give you all a big hug. I love you so much. Thanks for coming to my hood. Woo! Dancing, dancing in the streets. Woohoo, that's us. Okay, and if you want more information, you can go to my website, which is myfeelgoodway.com. And if you wanna learn more about this stuff, I'll uh, contact me and I'll tell you how you can do that. So I love you, I love you, I love you. Nos vemos pronto. Woohoo!